everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are testing out a new foundation that has been released recently and I'm talking about the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Foundation Stays All Day and Night and I've got this from Sephora. I bought the shade Neutral number no. 4 and I hope the shade is right because I was testing a few shades in store and the shade range was just overwhelming. It has so many shades to choose from, from cool, neutral, warm undertones and I decided to go with the neutral and ooh, oh my god, <laughs> I just smashed the foundation and yeah I just hope that this fits I am actually prepared here on my phone and this foundation says flawless is a feeling Charlotte's new innovation foundation is the secret to a flawless poreless looking confident complexion a stay all day whiteless full coverage formula with a natural matte finish it sounds really groundbreaking. This is a hybrid magic skincare foundation for every Osation. It contains, oh my god, it contains Charlotte's magic matrix of ingredients, the groundbreaking matching reflexion to significantly reduce the appearance of wrinkles by up to 22% after eight weeks of use. Most, what? Moss Cell Tech number one to boost hydration by up to 216% and air cool for an instant fresh feel on the skin. This is a lot. I mean, it's kind of like it can do this, 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 like it can, it can do all. And yeah, it moisturizes for up to 24 hours gives a flawless poreless looking finish 95% agree pores look reduced 89 9, no 98% agree that the foundation feels light white and comfortable hmm. sweat proof humidity proof waterproof and transfer resistant Okay, I have already primed my face and I have used the Nude by Nature primer, which is my favorite right now. And yeah, let's dive into this wonderful foundation. It looks really nice. I mean, the packaging looks nice. We have a glass bottle over here. So yeah. Oh, I got too dark. Oh crap. Interesting thing is, I was testing out the shade number 5 in store. And this looked nice on my hand. And then I decided to go in with number 4 because I wanted it lighter. And this is too I wouldn't say it's full coverage because I can still see my middle pimple over here. And I can see my marks and my freckles. Maybe this is to build. I will do another layer just to. Trying to remove my freckles. Sadly, I cannot do a full day wear test because I will not wear this foundation for a very long time today. I do will uh, check in in a few hours, but not a very long like 10 hours wear test because I have 
to work tomorrow and my hair needs a decent wash. Okay, the foundation. It feels a bit tacky when you touch it, but I don't feel like I have something on my face. Like, this feels wonderful. And I'm kind of a bit sad that this is too dark. But my pores are not reduced, just to let you know. I can clearly see my pores over here and here. And it's sinking in my small smile enlarge. But maybe this will go away when I set it. Okay, I will quickly conceal my eyes. Concealer is on and I will set this with my Jeffree Star. I have to admit, this is my favorite powder right now. I cannot say this often enough how much I love this powder. It gives such a wonderful finish and I like that it brightens up my skin and it will stay put more than 10 hours. Yeah, this foundation looks wonderful. It feels wonderful. I don't feel like I have something on my face and I don't think it looks like I have something on my face. So... And I would even say that now with the powder on, the shade is absolutely okay. I mean, I have to look how this will be in winter when my skin is lighter because right now I'm way too dark for a goth girl <laughs> because I know there are much darker girls. But yeah, okay, let's move on because I have so many new stuff over here like the Natasha Bloom palette. It's a blush and highlighter blah, blah, blush and highlighter palette. Then I do have the new Catrice Royal Idols palette and this has 30 shades in it. And stickers that I will give to my niece. Okay, and this is. And here we have super big mirror, and oh my god, guys, look at this palette. What I like about it that is that these have these cute little crowns in some shades. And every shade has a name, like Royal Idols, Queen's Collection, Royal Knights, Queen for a Day, Kings and Queens, God Save the Queen, Pop Queen, Prince Charming, Flower Room, Dancing Queen, Queen of Love, and there's a lot of Queen. <laughs> and it just spoke to me, like, buy me, buy me, I'm big. I'm yeah, this is under 17 euros, so it's super cheap. And we have mattes, metallics, and some shimmers in here. And it says Irresistible and Versatile Luxury Edition Palette featuring 30 eyeshadow colors. Designed to create endless and gorgeous looks, it includes a mirror. For easy application any anywhere. Oops. Okay, that's 
create a look with it. Okay, let's up prime. I have used like always my Bobbi Brown. Okay, I will put this away quickly and let's dive into this wonderful palette. And we have so many options here, it's crazy. Like super crazy. But I will grab a fluffy brush and I will go into Prince Charming, which is this shade over here. And this looks really good so far. I want to deepen this with the... It's good to be royal. That's this shade over here. Okay, I'm going to blend this out with Golden Castle, this shade. Let's go into the crease and I will take Roy, Roy, Royal Eyebrows, Royal Eyebrows, that's this one over here. I don't know, I haven't slept for a very decent amount of time, like I've, I slept around. a.m. and I got up at 9 right now it's 11 p.m. or 11 15 and I'm not tired I have to admit I'm absolutely not tired I didn't intend to to not sleep. I just couldn't sleep. I had to think about so many things. Like I'm always thinking about not really important stuff before I sleep. which is kind of annoying because I would just want to sleep but I can't I just can't and I don't know maybe I, I would like to go even darker but I think we will keep it like this I'm going to use this black shade that's called Midnight Queen because I know black shades are very difficult to make so let's take a look it doesn't look so black more like oh, I don't know it, it looks black in the monitor but here it's not, it's not that black, but let's see. Oh, I think I just see that my camera is not right and that the light is switching whenever I move. Really sorry about that. And I'm 
creating this kind of cat eye with my brush. And, uh, I think this got way better than <laughs> this one. But yeah, it's okay. It's okay. So then I really want to go into this wonderful gold shade over here and I will wet my brush like always. Ooh. This is absolutely amazing. I mean for drugstore this is really good and no fallout. Absolutely no fallout. For the lower lash line I will go into Royal Nights. It's this brown shade over here. I will blend this out. Then I will go for the inner corners and I will take Morning Sparkles. It's the shade near this golden greenish one and the Morning Sparkles is, yeah, it has a green shift to it. So I think this will match and I will wet this as well. does have this kind of green shift. Okay, I will finish this off. I don't have any new mascara or uh, other eyebrow products and yeah, I will use the same stuff I will always use which is my Tom Ford Emotion Proof and just a normal black eyeshadow from Essence for my eyebrows. I will be right back and see what kind of blush do we use and what kind of lipstick just to finish this off. Okay, welcome back. Um, as you can see I totally fucked up my eyeliner, I mean my wings. I was trying to do a little wing and this side got bigger like always so I was trying 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 and then it got like that. Ooh. Okay, let's just ignore the horrible eyeliner. For the lips I have used one of the wonderful Nabla and this is the shade Criminal Babe and I topped this with my new Natasha Denona liquid lipstick in the shade Cherry... No, Cyber Cherry. Cyber Cherry. And this looks wonderful. I mean, I don't know if maybe this is too dark but I kind of like it. And I would say we go in this wonderful palette over here from Natasha Denona and see if we can do a bit of blush. And we have one blush in this palette and I will just open this and we have this beautiful shade over here and I want to be really really careful because I don't want it too much. Ooh, this is, I don't know, it's texture, it looks kind of wet, it's wet, it's creamy, it's a creamy texture, oh my god, this is so nice 
and that I can apply this with a brush. <laughs> I don't even know why I do this because it's cruel. And that I can put this over foundation and powder. I mean, it's not really easy to blend, but this, guys, I like that. I mean, it has, can, you can see this kind of shimmer here, right? It's, it's wonderful. So, let's grab a highlighter brush. And then let's use the Glow Extreme, that's right here. I have already used this. And I'm still loving it. Look at that. Okay guys, I know this is expensive. It's uh, 60 bucks, but it's absolutely worth the price. I mean, what I love about this is you have this super big mirror and you have this, you know, because you can just hold it like this so you don't have this on the mirror. I mean, you can see I did hold it at the mirror and you will, or no, you can keep the blush and the glow over here clean while using the other shades because you can say oh my god it's even saying cream blush oh god i'm so stupid <laughs> i haven't read it i was just oh my god it's natasha denona and it's so pretty and i need a blush and guys this is wonderful i love it I'm absolutely in love with this blush. And yeah, we are done. It's, I don't know, I think I'm sitting here like an hour, maybe an hour and a half. And so far this foundation looks absolutely pretty. It's a kind of bunching up here, but it's just this side, maybe my sponge was not good enough. And yeah, it's a bit in my smiling lines over here, but just really a tiny, tiny bit. And you can just slap this again. And really, I have cleaned my nose so many times while doing this makeup look. I think it's pretty normal that it's already bunching up here. And yeah, the makeup palette, amazing. It's truly amazing. You get so many sh shades, so many options in here. This one is from Catrice. It's under 17 euros. For 13 shades and they are super versatile they are more neutrals and these lavender or violet shades I don't know how you want to call it and I love them and they came out with the with this oh my contour it's a limited edition it's an extra counter and yeah you have to visit a big drugstore to get these because they have so many other um palettes in this collection like mini palettes highlighter palettes i think there were two different highlighter palettes they had more than this big palette there were other big palettes available with other shades and yeah these are great when i remember right this was 
under 8 euro. Okay, if you like this review, um, please subscribe to my channel, like this video of course, and give it a thumbs up if you want to see more, if you want to see more, I don't know, maybe Natasha Denona high-end products, um, or maybe more drugstore. I like doing both because I use both. So just let me know down in the comments below what you would like to see. And I will do a later check-in, maybe in about four, three hours, I don't know and see how this foundation will last, how the makeup will last, and yeah, right now, I feel pretty, I mean, I don't like the eyeliner, seriously, it looks horrible, but the foundation looks flawless, because it's the airbrush, flawless foundation, okay guys, see you later. Okay, so it's been a while, not very long actually, because now it's 3.40 I guess p.m. And yeah, I took a nap. <laughs> I was watching some TV and did some stuff on my computer, so I was actually just laying around. Um, nothing much I have done. I have to admit it's kind of loud, kind of the dogs. No, what I wanted to say is um, it's still kind of hot and humid here in Germany. Um, yeah, I have to say it totally did survive my nap. Because I was laying on this side and guys, it's still perfect. What I don't like is the fact that it's here in my lines and here. So this is absolutely no go for me because uh, it looks like I'm wearing this foundation for way too long and I'm super old. So. I don't like this. This is not working. Mm. Good thing is, I mean, my eyeliner is kind of still on. My whole makeup look is still on. And my lips, I was eating and drinking, and they're still here. And hey. Do we see you? No, not really. We just see. Okay, Lucifer entered the room. He's always checking on me. Okay. Um, I still like this foundation. I will test it out. Maybe it's the primer. I don't know. Um, or maybe it's just my sponge. I always use a super cheap sponge. I will try out a brush, maybe. And yeah. Thank you for watching. Um, I still recommend this foundation it looks pretty good it's light white um, i have touched my face like a lot of times and there's nothing really on my fingers and yeah i would recommend this uh, i have to admit i do still like my la mer a bit more because it's not sinking in my layer smiling lines over here or creates any auto wrinkles but still this looks wonderful I think I look airbrushed and guys this blush from Natasha Denona is just flawless I love it so much I love my blush today I love this wonderful highlighter it looks so nice Look at that. Yeah, and of course, I'm absolutely in love with the palette. So, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.